I'm Jim Quinn, and we are in our facility in Highland Mills, Orange County, New York, and I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist through the NSCA, and a personal trainer, and also a former professional bodybuilder in the IFBB. This is some of our facility here. This is the upper level. We have a lot of single joint, isolationary kind of movements up here, pull downs and pec decks, and we have our monstrous uh, I carry in power rack over here and our 45 degree flex leg press. All these pieces have been picked and chosen for a specific reason, either sports performance enhancement or for a body composition change. So we do an athletic and aesthetic style of training, if you will. Once you get going, once you start progressing, you get into a good programming and you start seeing those benefits, it's just a snowball, but it's really once begun, half done. It's getting in there. And I've seen people come in here that never trained before in their lives and just went with it and went from one end of the scale to the other. And even people that fall off the wagon, so to speak, with the training and children and jobs and everything gets in the way, it's always there to return to. I'm not saying a bodybuilding or a strength training, performance enhancing, protocol programming but getting involved in some resistance so to speak and some kind of conditioning whether it's slow steady cardio or doing something higher intensity on a step mill or if you can jump rope doing movement really you, you get such a um, an endorphin release you get uh, such a feeling of well-being from it it's the more effective way to improve your body composition if you have a, a weight problem how young can somebody actually start? Well, I've had parents that were very comfortable with their 10-year-old coming over here. The simple answer that we learn in our curriculum is athletes are gonna be exposed to greater forces and actually more explosive forces, even just accelerating and decelerating on field and court sports, more so than they will in here. So this actually becomes a preventative, and I know that's kind of taboo that people think that it's too whirly and it's going to stunt their growth. In actuality, it's going to help their muscular and bony strength and mobility and stability. Another issue is what kind of you know uh, group do I appeal to? What kind of group have I worked with? I was a competitive bodybuilder. I was a professional athlete. I've run the gamut. I've had a really an all-time biggest loser for me that is so dear to my heart, a local guy that never stepped foot in the gym before. So we're really, really adept at first timer all the way to we've had two guys locally, one that made it to the second, the last cut actually at the Redskins that played at Cornwall High School, who actually played at my alma mater. So we've kind of run the gamut and it's based on our science that we know. And we're very comfortable appealing to everybody and being able to help all, all those groups. I'm available here middle of the afternoon all the way to late evening, certainly Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, earlier part of the day up until noon, Monday to Friday, weekdays, I'm actually in uh, downtown New York City at a gym called Steel in Chelsea. And so we do have two locations that I work out of. And, you know, typically people, uh, we, we work around what they really need and again if we have to do some makeup we'll do Saturdays and Sundays as well.